We are probably doing something that's never been done before. <laughs> it is. All right, signing off, guys. We'll talk to you later. You're gonna see yourself. Let me thank Cornelia. Yeah, go ahead. Bonaire people, Cornelia, the best. So you know to keep the nose in the wind the whole time, right? Really nice. Here's our challenge of the day, you guys. Check out the wind blowing these guys. It is a windy, windy day. We've got about 25 knots of headwind probably to start the day off. This should be fun. All right, guys, welcome to the skies at 8,200 feet right now. And we are, wow, way over the clouds, really, really high. And so the reason that we're so high today is because we have massive winds down below like I just showed you guys. Um, it was 21 gusting 31 knots. Very windy. As we were climbing up, we got as high as 35 knots of wind, and so it was very fun. But uh, up here, we are, well, we, we're about 10 knots of headwind right now, which isn't bad. This we, leg is very short it. to go there. We knew exactly what it was going to be, yeah. Um, it's beautiful when it's we went, exact on forecast. Yeah, if we went a little bit higher, uh, I think on the next leg we're going to get up to at least 9,000, um, just because the winds almost die right out there. So then we're going to be able to cruise much quicker because this leg is a short one. We only got about another uh, one hour to go to Bonaire right now. And then from Bonaire to Granada. Grenada. How do they call it? I don't know. It's Gren Grenada. Um, that's going to be our longest overwater hop. Some viewer is going to correct us. I think somebody's going to correct us, definitely. But this looks so cool. Like, look at these clouds just casting those shadows down onto the ocean. That's sick right there. We are just flying over Curaçao right now. So there's the island down underneath us. This one we're over flying and then we're en route to Bonaire out in front of us there. And how are we doing for ground speed right now? 91 knots 91. on our ground speed. Nice, nice. That's exciting. We're doing well. Above expectations. Yeah, that's good. That's always the way we like it. We are just coming down for landing here in Bonaire. We've got about uh, 25 knot headwind right now. And you can see the runway strip just out in front of us here. This is a big island as well. They were saying in Aruba that uh, Bonaire is actually a bigger island than Aruba is, but uh, less populated. They come out here for snorkeling and scuba diving. Is that a ship wrecked over there or no? I'm not sure if it's wrecked. Uh, I think it's just a ship. Just a ship? Oh. Cool. Uh, Flamingo Tower, Charlie Gulf, Echo for Kilo, two miles. The wind, zero nine hundred zero degrees to three knots, runway one zero, clear to land. There's the land, Charlie, go fake off a kilo. My hat's off to people that can live here. It's always this windy, they say. It's crazy, I think I could actually fly without the helicopter right now. <laughs> so we're an hour and 45 minutes into our biggest overwater hop of our whole trip. How's it feel? It's, uh... It's quite rainy because you have to be very precise to get the most out of the performance. Super intense, eh? Super intense. We're hovering right around 9,000 feet right now and um, it's just this fine balance between, you know, you push just a tiny bit too far forward, you're descending, too far back, you're climbing, we're trying to hold our airspeed, we're looking at our clock, and we're going to be tight on fuel. we got a reserve still in there right now. I'd say we've got about a half an hour to a 40 minute reserve. But it's tight. I mean, it wouldn't take a lot of factors at the moment to uh, slow us down those 40 minutes and, uh, and make us run short on fuel. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun day here today. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yeah. And uh, plus, because we're such high altitude, 
right close to our VNE as well. Uh, for you that don't know what VNE is, it's velocity to never exceed. So it's the maximum speed of the helicopter. Um, that decreases with altitude, so because we're up so high, it's come down right now a bit. So, yeah, it's fun. This is uh, this is pretty good. Give you guys a little view around here. This is what it looks like. There's a ship we just saw back over this way. So we figure, well, worst case scenario, we could always land on that ship and figure out the paperwork afterwards. But that's uh, that's a long, long ways down there. There's a lot of ocean out in front of us right now. Okie dokie guys, we have just initiated our descent here and boy, it's, uh, it's a long time coming. That was a really, really long journey. We're at 4 hours 34 minutes right now and uh, we are currently 18 miles away from Grenada. Super, super excited to get there. That was a long journey up high over the clouds in some sections. We had uh, patchy clouds kind of built up on the sides there. So it got pretty, pretty thick. Charlie Golf Echo oh. Alpha Kilo, report your DMA distance and passing level. 818 miles. 18 miles and uh, zero 090. Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo. Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo, Roger. Continue descent to 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet, Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo. So there may have been a, uh, a bottle incident on the trip here where uh, one of the three of us had to use a bottle to. Uh, you can reveal, it was me. Ah! Oh, I was going to make them guess oh, okay. who it was. Do it again. Oh. At that part. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, It was fun. It was, it was very, uh, very entertaining. <laughs> so anyways, we're finally descending now. Very excited to get to Grenada. And if you guys want to see on the GPS, so this is where we are. Uh, there's Grenada. And yeah, so I'll try lower because the, yeah. the, the, the base is at... Uh, 2000. Yeah, so that's what we're seeing in front of us. Charlie that's Golf Echo Alpha Kilo clouds. went overhead the Golf November Delta VOR. Cleared for the VOR DMA approach, sure on a 1 0. Report going outbound. Uh, negative on the DMA approach, uh, we are visual, sorry. Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo. Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo, Roger. Cleared visual approach, sure on a 1 0. Report final. Visual and report uh, final. Charlie Golf Echo Alpha Kilo. God, hey, welcome to Grenada, boys. Welcome to Grenada. Uh, it's Grenada. Grenada. No, we keep calling it Grenada and it's, the locals call it Grenada. It's Grenada. Grenada. <laughs> I don't know, let's ask. Somebody will know. So we're just with some friends here now that picked us up from the airport and we're heading up, I think we're heading up that way over there to go see some waterfalls. And then we're gonna head back to town and St. George's is the town that we're yeah. gonna go to. Yeah, get some food at the restaurant here, check into our hotel and yeah, looking forward to just getting a little bit of rest time after a big day. That's some true jungle right there. <laughs> wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Hey, Diogo, you should jump off of there. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Thanks for taking us here. The guys know how to go up there and jump. Yeah, that's the nice. Guys, huh? do they, they look shallow. Where do they jump to? Over oh, there? Right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the dry season now to the water a little bit low. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was intense for me. Hey, Diogo. Where are we at, buddy? Uh, we're at the hotel restaurant. 
Yep. And apparently it's very popular today because it's barbecue night. Ooh. A lot of meat, so I, we're gonna probably eat some vegetable kebab or something. Yeah, I'm veggie sure. barbecue, veggie barbecue. Yeah. The or Ruben is toast. Finished. Toast, man. Had a, a I'm toast. This was a very intense day. day for me, man. <laughs> very intense day. I think the psychology of just crossing that thing, having planned for so many months, and actually making it, it was an achievement. So adrenaline was very high. Yeah. Very, very high. Yeah. So now it's done, it's like wow. <laughs> now we're gonna eat this wonderful vegetable barbecue. What's it been like so far at the Macabana? Macabana is really run by a very nice hotel entrepreneur. He's been really amazing to us. We were gonna wash our clothes. Yeah, we need true. to do that. Yeah. And they have everything here. That's amazing. So I'm super happy. They have this wonderful restaurant. And we got a it's hot a really tub. Nice place. We're hot looking forward to going hot tubbing tonight. Oh man, oh, right. my back just is for us, sore. Right on the top. Uh, yeah, after all this flying, my back is super sore. So we're gonna look out over the whole view. We've got a, a, a beach view, ocean view, and we're gonna be hanging out in the hot tub. It's nice. Trying to beat the world record. And we do vlogs every day, seen by thousands of people. You're gonna be on the vlog. So yeah. what do you think of us being vegetarian? It's horrible, actually. It's horrible? <laughs> Why? Why is it horrible? Why? Because of all, I mean, do you see this menu? It's all <laughs> meat? Fish. You have ribs, you have, you have a, like, Listen, you have vegetable kebab, don't Never you? Never mind that. I would come with the... But we came for the best, best vegetable kebab. I hear you have amazing potatoes. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, yeah, I potatoes. Do you have rice? But they go no so rice. Wet. Not on a Sunday. Not on but a Sunday. the potatoes and the salad, the vegetable kebab, they go so well with the steaks. A steak? Oh. I don't want that stuff. <laughs> I want live stuff. What are you talking about? So you don't and have, you have yam fries. Nah. Do you have potato fries? Not rice on a Monday. Beans? You don't have? No. Beans? You can try beans. Okay, so let's have the, the vegetable kebab. Vegetable kebab. A big potato. Potatoes? You have big potatoes? And Grilled also potatoes. Want no, baked potatoes. Big potatoes. Big potatoes. Yeah, big potatoes. Are they huge? That's nice. <laughs> like big, big, big? The we potato size. We haven't eaten since 7 this morning. We don't eat We're much. hungry, man. <laughs> we fly all day and then... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we just come and eat at the end of the day. <laughs> We're starving, actually. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, we are just arriving here at the Macabana. And let me show you around. This place is amazing. Let me give you guys a little house tour here of the Macabana. They gave us a villa, uh, two bedrooms. So let me bring you guys inside. This place is amazing. So laundry through there. That be it was very useful last night. Uh, first bedroom over here with a couple of beds. <laughs> Diogo's oh, yeah. just hanging out. <laughs> and then through here is my bedroom. Really nice beds, by the way. And then back to the bathroom, which they did a fantastic job on. I really like the shower. Very nice. Sunken down shower, which is awesome. And then this is where this place gets really awesome. So you go up these spiral staircase here. And then the upper floor, you've got this nice gourmet kitchen here, which honestly, if you had a group of people and you're doing a lot of cooking, we're not gonna do a lot of cooking, but um, this would be an awesome place to cook. You could bring a whole family here, big family, and hang out. Got a little bit of food from last night still that we're cooking up right now. Ooh, that looks really good. Looking forward to that. And then, uh, they were nice enough to stack some, stock some stuff in the fridge for us for breakfast this morning, which is really awesome. As you can see here, got all our laundry laid out. Um, that's always really nice to have because we don't have a lot of clothing. And then a uh, nice living room area. Now check this out, guys. This is where this place just gets absolutely amazing. Outdoor patio. Ruben's just chilling, hanging out after some time in the hot tub. And then that's right, we got a hot tub on the deck overlooking the whole bay here. This is just absolutely stunning. I would say this is the best view we've had from all the places we've stayed so far. Got a mango tree right out front here. Probably pick some mangoes later for breakfast. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. I haven't gone over here yet, but uh, you can go up on the hill here and then you've got a full panorama view all the way around. So. This place, uh, if you guys are ever in Granada, I would highly suggest the Macabana Boutique Hotel. 
Um, they've done it right. They have, I think they said 20, 26 beds or something like that. So it's a fairly small little boutique hotel, uh, but they've definitely done it right. And this place, it's very nice. It feels like home, feels really cozy like home, um, but it just has all the, the touches of luxury and um, place that you'd really like to go stay. So um, I'd like to suggest it if you guys want to come to Granada. It's really nice here. I'm gonna sign off this video from the top of the hill here at the Macabana in Granada. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody that you know. Share it with everybody that you know. Uh, share it on Facebook, YouTube, whatever you guys want. Um, subscribe if you haven't. If you're new to the channel, press that notification bell and uh, we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Signing out guys, this place is incredible. <laughs>